Hey YouTube, I am back with another unboxing and as you can see right here in front of you, this is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. I uh, got it in today. Um, I ordered it through GameStop and it did finally come today and I'm really happy to have it. I'm super happy to have the opportunity to have it. Um, they are still available, surprisingly, at many, many locations. So if you do like the unboxing and you like what you see, definitely go out and grab it, man. I was extremely surprised when I picked up the box. I'm like, yo, this is heavy. I'm like, what's in here? Because, you know, I didn't even take a glance at what it was when I saw a collector's edition. I just pre-ordered it. So I have kind of an idea what's in here now um, because of all of the artwork that's been sent out since this was announced. But let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. I am super excited to uh, get into this, man. And like I said, it's heavy. So um, we're going to check it out, man. It's probably like a book or something, not too sure. But on the front, you have The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition, which is embossed. You can feel that there on the front there. It looks really, really nice. And then on the side, you have The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom right there in gold on the side. And then here in the back, you have a hieroglyph. Uh, Right there looks like of Ganon and Zelda uh, is what that looks like. So down here in the bottom, it does say what it includes. It says game, art book, steel book, pen set, and icon art poster. So that uh, art book is probably what's having this so heavy. So this is a hefty box, man. So pretty, pretty dope, man. I cannot wait to get into this game and actually play it. I did do an unboxing of the... Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Edition Switch Pro Controller. Um, if you did not see that unboxing, I'll put it here at the top. Go over and check that unboxing out. It's a really, really dope controller, man. So I think you will like it. I did pick up a couple other things with this here. Um, I picked up another Amiibo. I got the uh, Link Ocarina of Time Amiibo. And then obviously I had to pick up the Link Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo right there. And then I also picked up a carrying case from Best Buy uh, right there. And I'll show you all that later on. But let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this unboxing. Unboxing knife here. I'm actually going to open it from the bottom here. It's a little piece of plastic. Razor blade. Slice that. And we're going to pull it out from the bottom. So I'm super... Pumped. I can't wait to play this, man. I haven't played it yet. I have been staying off the internet just so I don't see any spoilers or anything, man. So I am super pumped to play it. Breath of the Wild was one of my favorite Switch games. So I am really happy to get this one. All right. So first off, what you see in there is it looks like the steel book here. So let's go ahead and take the steel book out. Oh, that still book is nice, man. There you go. More hieroglyphs. There you go. Awesome. It says Nintendo at the bottom there. Then in the inside, you have that there. Nice. That's inside. Then you get your game. Let's get this out of there. <clears throat> and that is your Zelda right there Tears of the Kingdom just a regular Switch game artwork on the back looks really nice discover create explore sweet right there awesome let's go ahead and pop that open And let me know down in the comments, did you get to play yours yet? What do you think of it? I've seen all the reviews, man. Got tens, like, across the board. I was like, wow. Nintendo got another hit on his hands. There you go. And that is, you got the cartridge down there. Some artwork on the back there. Sweet. Pop that to the side. Then up here, looks like these might be the pins. 
they went all out on this. Did a good job. Let's pop this open. Then on the side here, it says The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Right there on the side. Both sides it says that. Then I guess we can slide this out. Oh wow, that's nice. Those are the pins. Sorry about that shadow there. Those are pretty sweet. They're just made out of a little piece of metal. And then they just come right out and they push right on to whatever you want to put your pins on. So if you want to put them like on your satchel, like a lanyard, whatever you want to put these on, you'll be able to just slide those right on there. Really nice. Slide these back in here. And let's keep digging. What do we have up under here? Oh, looks like it's the art book. Yeah, this is definitely uh, what it is. We're going to put that to the side. We're going to come back to the art book. That's definitely what it is that's heavy in the inside there. And then, let's put this over here. And what do we have down here? So, Icon Art Poster Instructions. Due to the strength of the adhesive, use the adhesive tape may damage surfaces. If you attempt to remove it after application, please consider this carefully before placing the magnet. Okay. So some instructions about this steel poster here. So this is the box that it comes in. More hieroglyphs right there on the box. It says steel poster down here. And at the top, it once again says The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. On the back, it says Icon Art. So let's see what this is. Open that up. A little black piece of paper to cover the art. Oh, this is dope, man. Anything up under there? Oh, wow. Let's pull it out of here. Looks like these are the magnets. It's a heavy duty magnet right there. Oh, that's sweet. So there is the steel art. It's really nice. And then this is the magnet here that would go on the back. So if you want to hang it on something, this magnet would go right there in the back. And then on the back here, it says Icon Art. That's dope, man. All right. Show that one more time. There you go. Got your boy Link up there looking over the clouds, looking like he's up in Asgard somewhere. All right. That's dope, man. I like that a lot. Let's put this back in here. It's paper. Don't want it to get scratched. Will I put this up somewhere? Probably not. It probably will stay in the box, to be honest with you, uh, due to the fact that I have kids. And my kids, when they see stuff like this, they're like, oh, it's on. Touch, touch, touch. And I don't want them to mess that up. So let's secure that back in the box there. This is nice, man. They did themselves. They outdid themselves on this. Let's go ahead and close this up. But I will be playing this tomorrow, Saturday. I don't gotta work. It's not Mother's Day, so I don't have to worry about any of that. Mother's Day goes to my wife. Let's see here. That's that. Let's put this back in here. And this goes in there. And game and still book. Let's get that out of the way. Slide that down now. Let's get into this art book. So this is a hardbound art book. 
it is embossed on the front also. Once again, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom down here in the bottom in gold foil. On the back there, it is not embossed on the back. It's a nice print on it, but the front here, this logo here is actually embossed. So let's go ahead and cut this plastic. And get into the book. And I'll show you guys some of the pictures and artwork they have in here. I hope there's no spoilers, but you know, it probably is. So, caution here. Listen to me, heed my warning. It may be some spoilers in this book, but let's see here. Open that up. I'm just gonna flip through it a little bit. Nice. All some of Link's clothes you can get, you can unlock. Okay. There you go. This book is really nice, really well made. Awesome. So there's a quick glance at some of the stuff in the book. Don't want to show you too much. Don't want to spoil anything. But if you decide to pick this up, this is some of the stuff you'll see in that book. And once again, cover there is embossed. You can fill it there. Gold leaf right there in the Zelda emblem. So really, really nice, man. Nintendo did an awesome job with this. Let's go ahead and put that back in here. All right. And then lastly... We can go ahead and get into the Amiibos here. So this here is Link Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo. So let's go ahead and pop this open. Give you guys up close view of this Amiibo. Step out the way. And there he is. Really nice. That's the base. That's the Zelda emblem down there. That's his hoodie. And his new, I'm assuming, new little glove for inside the game. I haven't looked up what this amiibo does in the game, but I can't wait to use it. This is arrows. Got the Master Sword back there. Link is decked out, man. So... Give you one more close-up view of that. Really nice. They always do good jobs on the Amiibos. So I'm always super happy about the Amiibos. And then we have the Ocarina of Time. You've probably seen this one, but they released a lot of them when they released this game. So they re-released these. Go ahead and pop this open. And show you how he looks up front, up close. And there is Link again, up close, playing the flute. Got the Master Sword, got the shield. Love that shield. I have a 2DS that has that shield and everything on it, a special edition 2DS. That's the base. Awesome. There you go. And then lastly, is a case I bought when I was in Best Buy today. Um, this case would probably go with this one here, be the Ocarina of Time link right there. And go ahead and pull this off. And there is the case that I can put my Switch in. Not a very protective case, but I said, hey, I'm diving all deep into Zelda this week. Because of the release of Tears of the Kingdom, let me get a new case. Just black on the back, white on the front, and in the inside, nothing special, I'm quite sure. There you go, nothing special in the inside. Can hold some games right there. It pops up the Switch if you want to play it like that. And then it also has this for the Switch Lite in here if you want to use a Switch Lite 
has a little ring in there so you can put the switch light in there and it'll take up the rest of the space. So it works for the switch light or your regular switch, which is pretty awesome. And that is the case. All right, guys, that is the unboxing for the collector's edition of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. A few am amiibos that I picked up and a new case that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. If you did, be the cool guys and girls and drop me a like. We really appreciate that. And then if you want to see more unboxings and more content like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Totally free. doesn't cost you a dime. It will notify you when I post new content on the channel so you can be one of the first to come over for any type of unboxings, giveaways, gameplays, or whatever I'm showing on the channel. And it'll notify you first so you can be first to come over and check it out. All right, guys, I appreciate you. I hope you're playing Zelda. I hope you're having fun, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.